Hi, I'm Susanna and welcome to Let's Get Real, where we talk about real issues and a real God who wants a close and personal relationship with us. Do you know, it's God's heart that we know him in a personal way, not just to have knowledge and receive his love and walk in every blessing and to receive his healing, that we're not broken. And tonight I want to talk about the power of God that heals a broken heart because that's what he promises in his word. It says he heals the brokenhearted and he binds up our wounds. He is close to the brokenhearted and he saves those that are crushed in spirit. And that's who I was four months ago when out of nowhere, I was getting ready to start this ministry. I get a phone call that my big brother, healthy and strong and full of life, suddenly died in a fire in his home. And when that news came, it shook the very, very core of me. And I knew that if I didn't cling to God and cry out to him, that I wouldn't make it, that I would go into a dark place. Because my big brother was more than just a brother. He was a father, second father. He was a friend. He was a confident, confidant. And he was always there for me. And I couldn't imagine life without him. And I was just broken. And I needed, I needed God to heal my heart. And I remember one night, you know, I'd been praying and reading Isaiah 53, where it talks and identifies Jesus as the man of sorrow, acquainted with the man of many sorrows, acquainted with grief and sorrow. And I said, Lord, I need to connect with you there in that place, you know. And let me just read what just comforted, because God has that healing for all of us. We're not called to take on burdens. We're not called to take on pain. Yes, we go, it comes, but we go through it. And how do we get through it? With him, only with him. It says here, a man of sorrows and familiar, familiar with suffering. He took our infirmities and carried our sorrows. He was pierced for our sins. By his wounds, we are healed. That's a promise. Because when Jesus went to the cross, he conquered sin and death and everything that that brings. And loss of a loved one is one. Loss of whatever you're going through, whatever, loss of marriage, loss of, of a business. You know, when, when, when the hits come, and they do, they do. Let me, let, me, let me show you how they come. You know, this is Jesus, right? And I think in John 16. I've told you these things that in me, in, in Jesus, we can have peace. In this world, we'll have suffering and trouble. But take heart, you know, rejoice, you know, take courage. Why? I've overcome the world because Jesus overcame sickness and death and sin on the cross, overcame it. And in him, we are overcomers. That means that in him, we can overcome all things. All we have to do is run to him, get real with him, open up our heart and give him our pain. God's peace is not like the peace of the world, so temporary. God's peace is a power of peace that comes that regardless of what you're in or how troubled your soul is, that peace comes and calms everything. And about two weeks in, I was weeping. I was weeping every day, but I was weeping 
in this deep core of my being that I just couldn't stop. And, and it got more intense and more intense. And, and I cried out to God and I said, Father, you know, I give you my pain and I receive your healing. I, I give you my sorrow and I receive your joy. I give you my despair and I receive hope. I give you my anxiety and I receive your peace. And I kept doing that exchange, giving him the bad and receiving his promise and his goodness. And all of a sudden a peace came from like the, from here to, 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 to my whole core. And it just filled me to where everything that was just like out of control, just calmed, 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 calmed the stillness of his peace. And I was okay. Now, <laughs> you got to stay there, which is another episode. But you know how you stay there? Every time the wave comes or every time, you know, the challenge comes or the sorrow or the regret or whatever it is, we take it to God and we give it to him and we leave it at the cross. And in that, in exchange, we receive the promise. And God has that for you. Regardless of what you're going through, he has the promise. He didn't tell us that we weren't going to have challenges. But what do we do when they come? Do we, do we work in our own strength to get over things or do we get real with God? We were not created to carry burdens. We weren't created to die or to, or to experience loss and pain. But Jesus took that to the cross and suffered so we don't have to, so we can go through that and, and be healed. It says in John eleven twenty eight, 28, come to me, all who are heavy laden. Take my yoke, which is easy, my burden. You know, our, our burdens are heavy, but when we give them to God, we, can t we are yoked with him. We are yoked with him. So we're yoked in his power. We're yoked in his peace. We're yoked in him. All he has, all he is, is in us and us is in him. And that only comes out of a personal, close relationship with the Lord. It says in 1 Peter 5, 7, cast all your anxiety upon him. See, we can hold on to it. We have a choice or we can give it to him. So how do we receive our healing? How do we receive peace? First, we have to get real with ourselves and acknowledge what happened or, or what's going on in us. We have to get real with that. And then we have to give it to God. That's a choice. It's a choice saying, Lord, I know what happened or I know what was done to me, but I release it and I give it to you and I lay it down. And in, in, in that place, I receive your healing. I ask that you heal me. I ask that you make me whole. We have to be willing to give it to the Lord. Whatever you're going through, if you're sorrowful, if you're depressed, if you're anxious, the first step we take is getting real with God and saying, God, I'm broken and I need you. I need you. And God promises that he turns our sorrow into joy. And I must tell you, I feel his presence so strong, you know, walking through this journey with me. And I've grown so much and I've experienced him in such a deep way. And I've become thankful. I'm thankful. I'm thankful that he saved my brother 30 years ago when he could have died in a near fatal car accident. I, I, I thank God that, that, that he served God for all the rest of those years that, that he, I believe he completed the will of God, that he finished his course well, that he's in having, having the time of his life, you know, that I will be with him again. But now I'm intentional about purpose why am I here? Tomorrow's not promised to anyone. 
Tamar wasn't promised to him. He was with uh, my niece and her family two hours earlier, you know. It's, it's, oh my gosh. Uh, it, <laughs> God's called us to a purpose. God wants us whole, healed and delivered, trusting him so we can rise up and be all that he's called us to be. And yes, we go through crises and healings and sometimes God can heal us right away. But other times he wants us to walk through it with him because in that journey, we become who he's called us to be because we only grow in the challenge. You know, that's why it says counter all joy when you fall into trials because it works this and this and this in you. Perseverance and courage and all the things that we need. All the things that we need. The lie of the enemy is that you won't be healed and you won't be free. But I'm going to tell you one thing that I learned when I first got saved and I was in so much pain that I couldn't deal with an abusive marriage and being a teen mom. I'd push the pain down. You know, and I believe that I could never handle it if I let it come up. It's like, oh my God, like it would blow me up. But that's such, such a lie. Yes, it's hard to deal with pain. Yes, it's hard to look at those things or look at our character. But this is the good news. When you let it come up, God removes it. <laughs> So it might be painful, but it takes more energy to push it down and not deal with it than to just release it and let that healing come. So if you need healing, if you need a breakthrough, I, I just want you to say this prayer and just say, Father God, I ask that you would heal me. I invite you in my heart. I invite you in my situation. I release, if it's pain, if it's anxiety, if it's depression, whatever it is, I release it to you. Heal me. I receive your healing. I receive your peace. I receive your joy. And if you don't know this amazing Jesus that died on the cross for your sins, it's one prayer. Jesus, come into my heart. Forgive me for my sins. Be my Lord and my Savior. Please, if you need prayer, comment below. Uh, please subscribe and like so you get all the videos because God's heart is this. To heal us, that we walk out a rich inheritance he gave us, walk out purpose to be whole, get a hold of every blessing every promise in jesus name god bless you i'll see you next week